What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial we're doing something really exciting. I'm going to be modeling a tunnel in Revit. Yeah, an underground tunnel in Revit. Okay, so there aren't really any tools in Revit for modeling a tunnel, so I thought it would be cool to kind of try to find a workaround for modeling a tunnel and I think I found one that works, well, pretty well. Okay. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And uh, also, if you want to download this project file for this tunnel or any uh, other of my project files, I've got like almost 200 files so far, uh, I suggest you check out my Patreon first, a link in the description, and you can get access to all of those files. But anyway, let's get started. So as you can see, here I am in Revit, and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. And usually before I do anything, I like to set the units to meters. So just type in UN to get this project units dialog, and then and here I'm just going to change this to meters. Then I'm just going to hit OK. And now let's go to the site plan. So whenever you're modeling any typography, you really need to be in site plan in order to see it. So that's why I went here to the site plan and then let's go to massing and site. Here, uh, just go here for topo surface. So just select that. And here for the elevation, let's start off with the elevation of zero and let's add a few points over here on zero. Then uh, let's add another few points over here, also at zero. Moving on, uh, let's change this from zero to something like four meters, and let's add a few points here at four meters. Then let's change this to six meters, and now let's add a few points here at six. Okay, uh, what I like to do is I like to keep this inside so we don't get these uh, ugly edges, so some just arrange it that way, so it's going kind of like this. Okay, let's check the other side, yeah. So just move this to the outside and this to the outside. Now, the reason I'm doing this, if I move this to the inside, like so, and now if you go into 3D, as you can see, you get this ugly edge. Maybe if I turn on shading, or um, let's go here and add ambient shadows. Will that help? No. Shaded like this. Yeah, as you can see, we get this ugly weird edge, so I don't like that. I like to have it like this. So when you're uh, in the site plan, just make sure this is all the way to the outside. Okay, so we've got something that uh, works, and now we can just finish this mass, so go over here, or sorry, this site plan, so go over here and finish the site plan, and now it's time to create our tunnel. So how do you do that? Well, uh, for our tunnel, first I like to sketch it out, the path of the tunnel, and this will be a simple tunnel that goes into the, this hillside and then just exits on the other side, so it's not going to be too complex. So for that, I'm just going to go here first to the Annotate tab, use some detail lines just to sketch that path out, so just go from here, uh, yeah, kind of like that, from here to here to here and exit over here. Then again, annotate detail line, and I'm just going to be using this uh, fillet tool uh, with uh, the radius of, I don't know, something like, let's try six meters and see what that looks like. Let's do eight. Yeah, this works better, let's delete this. And yeah, let's go again to detail line, fillet arc, radius eight and let's fill it that as well. Okay, so once we have this, uh, let's create more of these lines, we'll just offset it by four meters to create our little road and use pick lines, so you get something that looks like this. Okay, I can actually move this in a bit, so we're not too close to the edge. Same thing on this side, just move it in a bit. Okay, so we've got our path that's supposed to be going underground. Once we have this, let's go uh, back and now to cut out the actual tunnel, as you can see here, this line uh, represents the beginning of the slope. So if we go into the 3D, as you can see that line, this line over here is where the slope begins. So just keep that in mind. So now let's go back into our site plan. 
Okay, and uh, go to Massing and Sight and go to Split Surface. Select that tool, then you select the surface you want to split, the only surface we have in this case, and then just use Pick Lines, hover over one of these lines, hit the Tab key, select the whole thing, over the other one, hit the Tab key, select the whole thing. Okay, now we need to create here the entrance into our uh, tunnel, so for that I like to use uh, just a line tool to represent the first line of this thing, and I like to align it with this edge over here, so something like that. Then I like to use the ellipse tool to create the opening. So just go all the way here into the mountain, kind of like that, and then like this. Now just finish it off like that. Let's say this works. Okay, now go with SL for split line or split element, and then trim and extend to just trim this to this and this to that. Then you can delete this line. Now you can select this whole thing, go CO for copy and just copy it on the other side and then again trim and extend TR is the shortcut and you just trim and, uh, trim and extend it to the other side and you just hit finish now you go into 3D and this is what you get okay now you need to select this uh, this cutout shape go back into your site plan go uh, MV for move or go here to move and then move it by some value that you can remember let's move it by 50 meters Okay, so now it's moved here, and if we go into 3D, we get this ugly hole. Uh, don't worry, well, it's going to look nice when we're finished. So let's go back into not level 1, the site plan, I made a mistake. Okay, so once you're here, now go with the building pad, and go again with pick lines, and pick these lines, so just hover over one of those, hit the tab key, select all, hit the tab key, select all, and then close it off at corners. Now, if I try to save it like this, uh, I'm going to get this error message, so I'm just going to go with continue. And then you need to move it inside of the your topo surface. So just move it to the inside like that, and now you hit finish. Now if we go into 3D, as you can see, this building pad now cuts out the path of our tunnel, and we just need to close it. And for that, we have this perfect piece of topography to close this off. So go back into, no, not level 1, the site plan, go select this thing, MV for move, and move it back by the value of 50. Okay, once you're back here, let's go into 3D, and there you go, we've got our tunnel, it's almost finished. Now let's select uh, both of these topographies, and let's change this to some grass. So let's search for grass, yeah, let's load some grass and hit apply, okay. And let's change this to realistic. Yeah, it looks much nicer, uh, but this looks kind of ugly for my pretty tunnel. I don't want to have it like this, so let's make it even nicer. And for that, let's go here to Architecture, Component, Model in Place. Then I'm going to go just with Generic Model, hit OK, hit OK again, and let's start modeling now. Okay, so first I'm just going to go, to go here to the Sweep, go with Sketch Path, and then I just use pick lines, hover over this thing, hit the tab a few times, and then it selects the whole thing. Now you just grab these edges, you delete them, and then you grab the outside edge, and again you delete that one. Okay, so you're left only with the line that's going on the inside of this building pad, or our road through our topo surface, or through our tunnel. And once you have this, you just hit finish, then you go with edit profile, and now you can edit the profile. For that, I suggest you go to your front elevation or 3D view, just go to front and then uh, go here. Can we do this with an arc? I don't think we can. Yeah, as you can see, arc doesn't work, but if you go with an ellipse and you go here to the top, let's just align it kinda so it looks like it's there. Okay, and then to the outside. Then you uh, kinda have to close it off and then you have to create another one. So just go again with an ellipse tool, go to the top, and then go to the sides. Okay, this looks really nice. Then you go with SL for split element, and then trim and extend, okay, sorry, just SL again for split element and split this in half, then go trim and extend and trim this, trim that, trim this, trim that. Okay, so once we have this thing, we'll just hit finish, Go into 3D, okay, you're already in 3D, yeah, so you just hit finish, and there you go, so we've got this tunnel, but of course this looks really ugly, and you don't want to have an ugly tunnel, so let's go into our level 1, and let's go to create, and go with reference plane, create one vertical reference plane, and let's just call it, 
Number one. Yeah, I'm really creative today. Okay, then go to east or west elevation. And now let's go create void form, void extrusion. And let's go here uh, with pick a reference plane by name. And let's pick that, that reference plane number one. Hit OK. And now let's go here and to make a line kind of like this. Okay, open it up. Yeah, let's go like that and close this off maybe here just to make it a bit more interesting. Yeah. Okay, so now go trim and extend, trim and extend this here. Okay, and yeah, I think this will look okay. So if we go into 3D, hit finish, and now let's extend this thing like that and like that. And now we'll go here to cut the geometry. You select your tunnel, you select your void, and there we go. Okay, this is looking now really nice. So once we have this all finished up, just go here to finish model and let's go into level one. Let's create some cool 3D view to observe our beautiful creation. So let's go like that. Yeah. Okay, I think this is looking really nice. Maybe we can walk towards it a bit. Kind of like that. Okay, and let's extend this. Okay, this looks really good. And let's just turn this to realistic. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, so there you go. That's how you create your tunnel in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Again, if you want to download this, uh, this whole project file with this tunnel, check out the first link in the description to my Patreon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.